What's up, guys? It's your boy, TB, and today we are going to be talking about Ohio State, the Ohio State versus Notre Dame. Here we go. Ohio State comes into this game with a brand new quarterback, Kyle McCord, who right now is 53 of 76 for 815 yards, six touchdowns, one interception through three games. Still on 70%. 70% is not bad. But I don't know if Ohio State fans are used to this six touchdowns in three games. I mean, that's that's wild. And the reason I say that's wild is his very first game, he had zero touchdowns and an interception. Uh, he still had 239 yards, but Ohio State is used to a prolific quarterback. But, hey, you never know. It's not. I mean, it's not the end of the world. We'll find out tomorrow, uh, well, later today, what is going to happen. Um, now, I did talk about this in my other video about Clemson and Florida State having, you know, duos or trios or whatever. This is a real trio. Marvin Harrison, Cade Stover, and Amika Abuka. Egbuka? Egbuka? Anyways, Marvin Harrison has almost 300 yards and three touchdowns in just two games played. One game, he ended up getting hurt, I believe, at the beginning of the game, but he was able to bounce back in the other two games. So, shout out to him. Uh, Cade Stover, dude's a beast. I believe it's their tight end. He's a thick body dude, uh, and he's got good hands. And, of course, we know Egbuka from last year. Um, any any receiver that's on Ohio State's team is automatically a five star. You might as well be a six star. We know that they're pretty good. But away from that, Kyle McCord has got to prove himself in this game. Uh, Notre Dame's defense. Notre Dame has a pretty good defense. They're ranked number fourth in total defense. Now I know it's three games through the season, but it's three games for everybody. Um, Ohio State's defense though comes in at third which is wow. This is the number three and number four defense in the nation about to battle off. And these are teams that you would not expect to be three and four. You would expect their offense to be three and four. Ohio state's offense is ranked number 24th. That, that anyways, uh, away from all that, Kyle McCord has got a lot to prove in this game. There's not really much on him except the film that you're seeing right now. Um, so I'm going to flip over and give Sam Hartman a little bit of hype. Sam Hartman, 45 of 67, 810 yards. That man has nine touchdowns and zero interceptions. 67% completion percentage. Dude has been balling out. A lot of people say that he is the best quarterback in the country as of now. And he, it's hard to argue with it. He does look like it. Um, coming along with Sam Hartman in this battle is uh, Audric Estime, Estime, who's a running back, and he is a beast of a running back. Um, if you thought Sam Hartman was the best quarterback in the country, then you might as well go ahead and tag this guy as the best running back in the country. Through three games, he has 426 yards, four touchdowns. He is a beast. Their offensive rank comes in at number 16th. I've already told you their defense is ranked number fourth, but we have talked a lot about these teams over the last couple of weeks just because they've been highly ranked and they've stayed in the top five, top 10. But for all of us, this is going to be a test. This is going to be a huge test because either it's going to be a good game and they're going to prove why they're both top 10. I think it's six versus number nine, or one is going to blow out the other and prove that the other one does not belong. Keys to winning this game. Ohio State has got to come out and not rely on the defense. Maybe they have a great defense, but you cannot rely on the defense because what I've seen from Sam Hartman is dude will pick you apart. All right. Every game he's played so far, they have sent pressure after pressure after pressure. And this guy stays in the pocket. I mean, he he is he's battle tested. He is very, very battle tested. Unlike Kyle McCord. I've seen Kyle McCord, not saying he has happy feet, but I've seen him have to scramble a lot. And I don't know if it's his offensive line. I don't know if they're just sending six, seven guys at him. But we are going to find out a lot about Kyle McCord tomorrow as far as where he is on that scale of former Ohio State quarterbacks. Uh, I think Notre Dame is going to take this game, and it's crazy because I usually would pick Ohio State, but just seeing Notre Dame's defense, usually that's the reason I wouldn't pick Notre Dame because they don't have a defense. Or they, they never have. They, they haven't had a defense. But now being able to say that they have a great quarterback who is very disciplined, very cool, calm, and collected, and that man does not mind slowing the play down. He doesn't mind speeding it up. He makes very good decisions. Now you add a good defense with that, it's very hard not to take 
Notre Dame in this. And the fact that their running back is a beast. I, I love their running back. Now, it's not that Ohio State doesn't have a good running back. Well, of course we know. Uh, Travion Henderson, um, is going to show out in the yes rushing category, but he's also going to show out in the receiving category. He's a great out of the backfield back. Uh, he, he's an all around, all purpose, three down back. And I would not be surprised if Ohio State did not try to use him more than what they have the first three games. Uh, so. Anyways, I would like to know your opinion on this because I have not seen them play live. Uh, I've just seen highlights and I've just listened, you know, looked at stats and stuff. But I think this is going to be one of the most exciting games of the first three weeks of the season. So uh, I want your opinion and who you think will win and um, what you think is going to happen. So I will see you later. It's TB. Hit the like button if you like the video.